Hi, this is Lewis from Smith AI, and today I'm going to show you how you can set up your MyKeys account in a way that your Smith AI receptionist can schedule appointments that show up in your MyKeys calendar. Now, MyKeys doesn't have a way for us to directly use your calendar, but what we're going to do is we're going to connect your MyKeys account to either a Google or an Outlook calendar, and then we're going to connect that calendar to Calendly, which is what we're actually going to use to schedule your appointments. Doing this is pretty easy, and we're going to start first by connecting MyKeys to either Google or Outlook. You can do that just by following the steps we have in this uh, doc, but I'll walk you through them. It's pretty easy. I have this image a little bit bigger over here, so it's easier to follow. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into My Case, click on the top right for My Case Admin, this little drop down menu, and select the integrations and services option. Then in the integrations, you're going to look for the calendar integration and you're going to click on Sync with My Case. That's going to bring up another little window where you can choose if you're going to use either Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar. You can pick whatever you want to use. And then it's just going to ask you to sign in either to that Google or to that Microsoft account so you can connect them. And it's going to ask you for some permission. Go ahead and allow them. And that's pretty much it. Now you have my case and Google or Outlook connected. Now, this is going to create what you can call a sub calendar, either in your Google or Outlook calendar. To view those in your Google calendar, you can just log in and you'll see them on this left part of your screen. And you'll see a new little calendar here called my case. If you log into Outlook as well, I'll show you image right here. It's going to be on the left again, and you'll find another little calendar there called My Case. If you see that, it means that this worked. Now, something important that you need to know is that only the events that are booked in this My Case sub calendar are going to sync up with your My Case calendar in your software. So if you book events under any other sub calendar, be that your personal calendar, you might have other calendars over here like birthdays or stuff like that. Those are not going to go to your MyCase software, only the ones that are booked under the MyCase subcalendar. This is going to be important in a little bit, but first you can actually do a quick test to make sure your Google or Outlook calendar is syncing correctly with MyCase. You can just go ahead and schedule a, a test event. Go ahead and put test uh, either on your Google or Outlook calendar. But again, make sure that the calendar you're using is not your personal one. It's the MyCase one. Go ahead and save. And this will now show up in your MyCase software. Go ahead and check. It sometimes takes a minute or two, uh, but it will appear there pretty soon. And once you see it, you know that everything is working correctly. So moving on, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect this calendar to Calendly. To do that, go ahead and make an account in Calendly.com. I recommend you use the same email you use for the, the calendar you have connected, the one you connected with MyCase. If you already have another Calendly account that you use, it's not the same email. No worries. I'll show you where you can change that as well. So once you log into Calendly, you're going to be brought to their homepage that looks like this. You're going to go to this top right corner over here, click on the account little drop down menu, and you're going to select the option that says calendar connections. This is going to take you to a page that looks like this. The first thing you're going to check is you're going to make sure that this email right here is the same email that you're using for either your Google or Outlook calendar. If it's not, you can go ahead and add the right email over here, just in case you created your Calendly account with another email. And uh, you can disconnect this one if you don't use it. That's up to you. Just make sure that you can see the right email that you're using in this list right here. Next, we're going to jump to this bottom part that says configuration. And we're going to see two sections, one that says check for conflicts and one that says add to calendar. First, we're going to go to the one that says check for conflicts. And we're going to click on this little right button that says edit. This is going to bring up a small window, which is where you can select which sub calendars you want Calendly to check for conflicts. You'll notice the My Case sub calendar is unchecked. You need to go ahead and check that. This is very important because this is how you're going to avoid double bookings in your My Case calendar. Any other calendars that you leave selected are going to be checked for conflicts. I would recommend you only leave the My Case one selected if you're only using this to connect it to My Case. If you also use your personal calendar and you want it to check there as well, just in case you have lunch with some friends or something, you can leave that selected. It's up to you. I do recommend though you only leave the My Case one selected. Go ahead and click update and that's done for that first part. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this little add to calendar section. Again, we're going to click edit and it's going to bring up this window. You're going to do something similar here. You're going to go to this little drop down menu and this is where you're going to select which calendar you want your appointments to go to. And again, since only the events that are scheduled under the My Case calendar will sync up with your My Case software, you need to go ahead and change this over to the My Case calendar and click update. That is pretty much it. Now you have Calendly connected to your Google or Outlook calendar, which is syncing up with your MyCase account. And you can also do a quick test to make sure everything is working correctly. To do that, go back to the home screen and go ahead and schedule a test appointment under one of the meeting types you have set up. Just go ahead and click on view booking page. This is what we're going to use to schedule your appointments. 
and we'll schedule one for today at 3 p.m. Central. Under name, we're just gonna put a test. I'll put another test email down here as well. Uh, since again, we're just doing some testing and go ahead and schedule that event and you're gonna receive this little confirmation page. Once you see this page, you can go ahead and check your Google or Outlook calendar and you'll see that that event has been scheduled in this calendar. Then go ahead and check your My Case calendar in your software and you'll see that it's gonna magically appear there as well. Again, sometimes it can take about a minute for My Case to show the updates, but once you see it there, you know that everything has been connected correctly. One more bit of advice, whenever you need to cancel an appointment, I recommend you do it through Calendly. That way Calendly updates Google, which updates My Case. You can do that very easily just by going back to your My Case account and you can just go to schedule events and you'll see whatever event you wanna uh, you have scheduled here and you can just go ahead and cancel it in this little button. Or you can also check your calendar and you'll if you click on the event, you get some more info and see that you have a cancel link. You can just click on this little link. It'll redirect you to the actual Calendly page where you can go ahead and just cancel the event as well. But that is pretty much it. Now you have my case set up and anytime we schedule the appointments, you're gonna see them show up in that calendar. If you have any other questions, please go ahead and email us at support at smith.ai. Thank you and have a great day.